So sometimes you may have seen a helicopter circling overhead at night, especially police helicopters or air ambulance helicopters. Um, but why is it mainly those that seem to be flying at night? Hi, I'm Rick James from The Pilot Teacher and today we're going to talk about what a helicopter needs and what a pilot needs to be able to safely fly at night. So let's go and have a look. So as I mentioned, the most common helicopters that you will probably see at night are the police security services and the EMS medevac helicopters. Um, these guys are flying around all the time. The police are basically being the eyes in the sky for their counterparts on the ground. Uh, the security services doing, doing what they do with their camera. Um, the medevacs, I've done medevac at night and you know when somebody's hurt, somebody needs a transfer to hospital, then that is what we are trained to do, the aircraft is capable to do, uh, to basically fly at night and go pick these people up to get them the care that they need. The other type of helicopters that you might see flying a lot at night is for tourism, especially if you live in places like Las Vegas. Um, they've got tons and tons of machines flying up and down the strip at night um, places like new york flying around you know people come on vacation they want to come and see the lights from the air and you know a tour flight around manhattan was how i got my first jump start into helicopters so um, being able to see it from night is an awesome experience the next kind is charter um, basically people want to charter an aircraft to get from point A to point B quickly um, especially if it's over a long distance and they've got to get there um, you know when when time is of an issue so um, a lot of companies will charter helicopters to fly employees around and um, you know some people will even um, charter them themselves to fly their families around so um, that is how you'll get charter and VIP aircraft flying around at night and the last one generally is personal use. You know, if people have a helicopter and they want to go fly at night. You know, they want to go places. They want to go to their cottages or their vacation places. Um, or they just want to go and practice their, um, their night currency. You know, um, all companies are going to be going up, training their guys at night and... Um, that is why you'll see a lot of helicopters flying around at night, depending on where you live, is going to dictate on what kind of helicopter you're going to be seeing flying at night. So if you're wondering what it requires to be able to fly a helicopter at night, uh, there's several things that are pilot requirements that are needed. So in the US, as part of your private pilot certificate, you'll go up and you will get some experience flying at night with an instructor. And once you've got your private license, this basically allows you to then go and fly at night. Um, other countries like Canada and the UK, I know, um, you have to do an actual specific night rating and you cannot fly at night unless you have the night rating. And sometimes some of the countries even insist that you have an instrument rating too. So it depends where you are, it dictates on what pilot training that person needs before they can go fly at night. Um, now the main thing with night flying is currency. And to be able to fly passengers at night, you have to have done three takeoffs with a circuit and a landing to a full stop within the last 90 days. If you don't have that currency, you can't fly passengers. They basically want you, you know, to stay safe. So three takeoffs, circuits and landings to a full stop within the last 90 days, and then you can go and take passengers. Okay, so now the pilots met the requirements. Now the aircraft has to also meet the requirements. So the FAA dictates that in part 91205C, your aircraft needs working position lights. So this is your white, red, and green lights. You need an approved red or white anti-collision lights. This is, can either be just a, a flashing light or a strobe light. And you need a landing light if you're gonna be flying for hire. But generally, if you'd be flying at night, you wanna be having a landing light anyway. You also need an adequate energy source. And what that means is something to power this electrical system. 
Um, so a generator running off your engine and most aircraft have a battery to start the aircraft which also then will run the, the lights and your instruments if you have an engine failure. The next thing that they need is spare fuses that are accessible to the pilot or resettable circuit breakers. Just in case something goes out, you can easily access the fuse, replace it and uh, keep flying legally at night. Okay, uh, the last thing at night that the pilot needs to make sure is that the helicopter is able to fly to its destination and then for a further 20 minutes at cruise speed. Basically, they don't want pilots coming up short on their fuel and having to make an emergency landing because at night that can be really, really dangerous. For an airplane, they need a little bit more just because the places that they can land is a lot more limited for, you know, fixed wing, you need typically a runway to, to land on, whereas a helicopter, if worse comes to worse, you could put it down in a parking lot or a ball diamond or something like that. So the main thing at night that dictates how easy it is to fly at night is where the aircraft is being flown. Now, if the helicopter is being flown over a city, like for the police, um, it's really easy because there's so much lighting from the city lights. You can see everything. You've got reference to the surface. You know which way the aircraft is in relation to the surface. The problem comes when you start flying out into the wilderness and it is pitch black the second you leave the runway. Now, when I was flying the medevac machines, the second we left the runway, you may sort of close your eyes. It went ink black, just jet black. And to be able to do that safely, you need to have an instrument rating. You need to be experienced on the instruments and you need to have a capable machine too, because when you lose visual reference flying at night, the accident rate from controlled flights into terrain or sea fit goes through the roof because it is very, very easy to lose orientation of your aircraft when you have no reference to the surface. One of the big game changes in the last 20, 30 years has been night vision goggles and they literally turn darkness into daylight and especially the latest generation with the white phosphor lenses rather than the green lenses. Um, the definition of detail that pilots can see using them is incredible. And guys that are trained on night vision goggles will never fly at night without them ever again. Oh, I hope you found this video helpful and interesting. If you did, hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell too. I've got new videos like this coming out all the time. Um, if you want to give me a thumbs up, I'd really, really appreciate that. It really helps the channel. If you have any questions or comments, stick them in the comment section below and I'll try and get them answered for you as best I can. Sometimes we'll even get the camera out and we'll go and have a look on the actual helicopter itself. So if you liked it, thumbs up and uh, I'll see you on the next one.